Molly Otis, and how are you this morning? Well, this morning we're heading up that little hill just to the west side of Newport. We're not too far off the top now, Tumbalum. From here we're overlooking Cardiff and the Bristol Channel, which leads down to the Seven Estuary right the way along, and we're waiting for the sunrise there in the east. And now as we look along, this is all Newport area. And then we're directly looking at the two seven bridges now. You've got the second seven crossing and the first seven bridge. Well, we're going to carry on our walk and head up the hill. And this is eager to go. Okay, now at this part of the hill, you get a choice. You can take the, the slight incline that way or you can go this way and uh, I think it's 50 50 so uh, I think we'll head this way Otis uh, he's in full of energy this morning just, just as well he's towing me up the hill <laughs> that's a good boy Otis, how are you feeling? You good? All good. Here we are, turn the back light off now. As it's uh, just about light enough, I can see really well. Just the camera is having a little bit of a trouble. Come on, let's go, Otis. I can see the pinnacle. <clears throat> it's actually quite a nice walk up here it can get a little bit slippery if you've had a downpour um, the ground is still fairly fairly dry at the minute I'll just let Otis off his lead as uh, I can see him quite well now there we go <laughs> he's free it's getting a little bit windy up here. You eating for me there, Otis? It's a good boy. Yes, it's starting to get a little bit windy here now as we get nearer the, the pinnacle of the Tumpeth. <laughs> wow, somebody's brought their car up here. That's all that's left of it. Oh dear. Don't go too far away, Otis. You stick with me. Now this is next decision. Do I go straight up to the top of the pinnacle, Tumbath, or do we meander around? I think we'll meander around. Some amazing views up there here this morning. Look at the clouds whizzing by. Hopefully, we'll be able to get up and back down before it rains. It's a good boy. Are you having zoomies? Zoomies up top of Tumbalum. <laughs> don't, use all, don't use all your energy up there, Otis. No. <laughs> and uh, for anybody asked, yes. I have got hiking boots on. This is not something you really want to do in sandals. As uh, it gets fairly steep around here now. And it's not really good for people with vertigo either. Says he. But it's going to be well worth the, the view at the top. I think I am nanad all night about whether I was going to pop up here or not. <sighs> and uh... <laughs> adventure got the best of us, didn't it, Otis? <laughs> so here we are. So this is the uh, the Iron Age fort. 
possibly built by the Salurs way way back before Roman times and of course the Romans uh, also populated the area and it's possible that they use this as a signalling point <laughs> One, two, three, let's go to me. <laughs> oh, wow. So, to answer my question, are we higher than Mac Mountain? Yes, we are. In the background, there you see Mac Mountain. Also, in the background, you'll see the uh, vertical red lights there of Wenvo marking out the west end of Cardiff and the north end you've got Cowbridge. Right I'm going to go back down to Zoomy Dog because he's having fun here. One, two, three, let's go! <laughs> Now, for information, the Tumpeth isn't the very pinnacle of Tumbalum. The trick point is up here. <laughs> Come on, just this way. But for those who would like to come and visit the top Tumbalum, it's fairly easy accessible via car. There's a car park about a mile down the road. Or rather a mile at the bottom of the mountain or the hill. <laughs> Oates is loving the, the freedom up here. Otis! Hiya! Hello! <laughs> oh, he's just found a, a bracken on the water. And as we reach the trick point, we'll be able to see all the way across Risca. Well, it's got that noisy up here now. I've just plugged in my headset, so hopefully it's going to be a bit clearer for you to hear me over the wind noise. And here we are coming up on the trick point. The trick point is um, trigger, tr was triangulation station, basically, or trigometrical uh, point, and it's used for ordnance surveying uh, to work out positions and the latitude and longitude, etc. It also, uh, there are some markings there to denote that this highest point is 419 metres high. Well, I'll just climb up on the trick point here now, not totally, but. And pan around. Let's start at the north. Just look as far north as we can here. So um, it's just well northwest actually. We're looking from sort of the Risca Kafili sort of direction. We're looking over Kum Khan Forest Drive, which is sort of uh, uh, same direction sort of Kifili. We head down towards Macken. Um, there's Macken Mountain. Let's just zoom in on the transmitter site. Transmitter site is at 362 meters, so it's a lot lower than we are here. And this is the city of Cardiff. You can just about make out the, the coastline there and the flat almost steeple. And now over to the English coast. <coughs> Hi, <Hello>, it is. <coughs> yes, we almost got a sunrise. Almost. <coughs> Just zoom in, see if we can see the seven bridges. There we go. Overlooking Newport. Okay, Otis, you ready? A one, a two, three, let's go! <laughs> oh, let's have a, let me just zoom in on Newport a minute and show you the, uh, the Usk estuary as it comes in through Newport. There we go. You can make out the uh, Newport, Langwern. Just about make out Usman Power Station too. sunrise lighting up the sky final pan around and then we'll head over towards the tumble you ready Otis 
Come on. Go. Oh, you just want to play, don't you? Go on, let's go. Oh, this is lovely it up here. It's very windy, but he's enjoying it. <laughs> come on, we fella. I'm coming, come on. Oh, you want a treat, dear? Okay, there you go. There you go. You happy now? Okay, let's... <laughs> I haven't got any more. Here it is. You're going to get there before me. Come on, let's go to the top one. This way, we'll go down this path. <laughs> Good boy, you wait there and we'll go up the we'll go up the steps together. Okay, here we go. Okay, you take the path, I'll take the steps. Well, as I climb up here it's getting windier and you may not be able to hear me soon, so I'll just um, have a little pad around up here and enjoy the view. Wow, it's phenomenal. It's very windy though, with my hands being blown about. Guys. Oh, it's enjoying a zoom. <laughs> it's so noisy though, Otis. Yep. <laughs> Come on then, boy. Should we head back down? Let's head back down where it's quieter. You gotta be sure footed mine coming down those steps. Okay Otis, we're gonna head back down now. We head this way. And as we do, we'll look out for some plaques just for John. There we go. Maureen Harris, 1938 to 2009. Where's the next one, Otis? Slow down, slow down. Terry and Betty, Betty Jones. Sheila and John Lewis. Stanley John Richards.
Toyo Lewis Burns. Anthony Walsh. Diane Lynn Johnson. Sarah Jane Richards. So I'm guessing these are all the places where people had their ashes scattered and scattered. Mary of Stephen. Brian John Noble. The best man in the room. Well, I believe that's the end of the packs. Otis, this way, come on. We're going to head back down the hill now. Good boy. <clears throat> Look, they're all just waiting. Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> right, I won't talk too much going down the hill. I don't want to go slipping and sliding, so um, I'll probably be quiet for most of this. Where are you off, Otis? I believe it's uh, this way. Well, Andy Guy, I bet you've got fond memories of this place too. We used to come up here a lot with the, the radios and do a lot of um, long-distance radio uh, communicating, usually receiving stations from all over the world. You know, on the FM band, the medium wave band, you move the uh, radio around to a different part of the, the hill. You pick up different things, amazing. I'll just zoom in on the farm here where uh, we've parked. Now uh, we've walked along the lane and uh, past the trees. Brings us up to Tumbalam. It's uh, been a beautiful morning. I'm on my way, young man. Well, it's a little bit more daunting walking down the hill, actually, than it is climbing up. Well, it looks like Otis has found something. What have you got there, Otis? Well, it's worth peeing on. Okay, come on. Well, it's a shame we didn't get to see the uh, the sun doing its rising thing this morning. But it's over that way, hiding behind the clouds. Still, we might capture it though before we uh, get down to the bottom of the hill. Otis bounding down the mountain side. Oh, what, what it is to have four legs. This part's a fairly steep climb. The rest of it isn't too bad, though. But you still need to be fairly sure with your feet and you need to wear mountain boots or hiking boots or any sort of boot really that's going to protect your feet don't advise wellies though they might be a bit uncomfortable well we didn't realize it was this steep coming up Going down, you can see, oh, see how close to the edge we are. And the sun is finally appearing in the east. Beautiful. We'll continue on down. The mountain side or the hillside. Well, it's actually above 300 meters, so both Macken Mountain and Tumbalam, I suppose, are designated as mountains.
Oh, look at that beautiful sun rays coming through. Well, it's like sunshine coming from heaven, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Talk to which, it's sad news last night, wasn't it, with the, uh, the Queen passing away. And Prince Charles now taking her place on the throne as King, King Charles III. Wow, never thought that would happen so quickly and so soon. Well, didn't feel this steep walking up the hill, that's for sure. Otis has gone out of sight. Otis, where have you gone? It's a good boy. You wait there for me. <clears throat> I'll just take a little look around for livestock now because this is where you need to keep your eyes open for sheep. We don't want, uh, don't want him chasing any sheep. I didn't see any on the way up, but it was very dark. Look at that gorgeous sun rising through the sky. Absolutely beautiful. There you go, young man. I see no sheep. Well, it's been a long time since I've walked up this mountain, but it's been a beautiful morning and a great walk. The first time I think we've been up on Hill Otis, isn't it? Oh, Pat and Grey Hill. Yeah, don't go too far ahead though, just keep in sight. And this is where we arrive at the foot of Tumbarum. There's still some amazing views to be had, mind, from here. There's actually um, a car park just over to the left where you can park up. We've parked um, down towards Riskra Fairway, so we've got a little bit of a walk ahead of us. So I'm looking over now at Macken. I want to see if I can see Cardiff a bit clearer. Not enough blue sky to make it out, but there's flat on the steeple. And then you can see the hills of Wells and the Mendips and Dundry. Absolutely beautiful. The morning turned out really well, even with some blue skies. And Tumbalum, au revoir, is hiding up there behind the trees. Okay, well, we're going to carry on down the road. Oh, are you okay? You're playing hide and seek there. <laughs> Come on, this way, Otis. Right then, young man, Otis, we head over this way because we're going to sign off for the morning. Thank you all for joining us. It's been a fantastic walk this morning. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. And please subscribe. It does help our YouTube stats. The more subscription, the better. And, um, yeah, leave some comments. It's lovely to see those comments. 
and we'll do our very best to uh, to answer them. Otis, come back here. Come back here. Come on. Too many things to sniff on the way. Okay, so from Oates and I, we'll say cheerio. Till next time. Bye bye. Otis, that was. Come here. He found some rabbits already. Well, I didn't spot this on the way in, but we're down by the car now, near the farm. And just spotted the, uh, the Tumbalum cairn. Brilliant stuff. Anyway, thank you for joining us. Otis and I will catch you next time on another adventure. Bye-bye.